welcome back guys and girls. Um, I know I ain't been around for a little while, but update on the, the infrared. Um, today I managed to remove the filler flap and that. I've removed the vents. As I said to you before, I needed gas, I got the gas. Um, and I've removed the seat belt from the near side rear. It was a bugger, it was hard. It had to be really heated up, really, really hot, glowing to actually get it out. But I've done it, so that's the main thing. Um, here's the seat belt. Um, lucky enough, didn't scorch the cloth. And the bolt, that's the bolt. You know, it was a bugger. But yeah, so now, she's basically a shell now. That's it now. Um, around this side, you can see where the welding's gonna take place um, here. I will take some shots of underneath. I won't do it now because uh, I'm a little bit slow getting up and down. <laughs> But I will take some shots of underneath and show you underneath. Um, I went to that guy's workshop, very impressive. Carl, his name is, over in Brentford, Essex. To sandblast the undercarriage and the engine bay, 800 pound. A lot of money. So, I'll be honest with you, what I'm thinking of doing, because I've got a compressor, I've got airlines, I've seen a sandblasting tank, and I might give it a go myself. It's gonna cost me 100 pounds to set it up as a sandblaster. If it don't work, I've lost 100 quid, and then I have to pay out the 800 quid. But if it works, then I don't have to pay out the 800 quid. Plus I can do that live. If it's not too dusty and you can see, then I can do that a bit live. And then once the underneath is all sandblasted and the engine bay is sandblasted, then I will get a friend of mine to come and do the welding. Um, and then once all the welding's done, then obviously it's the preparation for the body to be painted. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's there now. So now I've got to get me jig to spin. I know I keep saying that, but <clears throat> I'm wait. I'll be honest with you. I'm waiting for the tax rebate. I've been told I'm going to get a tax rebate. So I'm gonna let the tax rebate pay for the spinner. So once I get my tax rebate, should be hopefully end of this month, then I can get my spinner, put her on the jig, and then I will spin her over. And uh, um, yeah, that will be it. Then I could start sandblasting and grinding off all the uh, under seal and exposing what needs to be done. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, it's um, a bit of a slow process now. I know I was putting lots of videos up as we were starting to strip it. Because it's, it's well, it's stripped now. Um, I've just got to wait for the jig, really. So if I'm not, if I don't be about, I'm not being about for a little while, I do apologize, but there ain't really much to put up. Um, <clears throat> I've got to, um, start buying stuff really for it which i have bought some bits when they come up in that actual ford bits i do buy them the wing as i've told you about uh, the nick from the filler plug down to the petrol tank some fuel lines um what else is there there's uh i've got to get some matrix rads the main rads so once I see them up, if I can get actual Ford ones, 
then I will go for the Ford ones. I don't really want to go for aftermarket. Um, I've got the doors, as I've Cole told you before, but I've kept these like this. So once I get the doors painted, then I can just break these doors down, transfer it all over onto them doors, and then paint them. Once they're painted, then they can start to go back onto the car. But obviously, that's a little bit down the, the way yet. The main thing is getting it all prepped now. Um, I've got the stickers. I sent pictures off to a friend of mine who can do the stickers and that for me. And that, and um, I'll have to buy some more um, for the soundproofing stuff. I'll have to buy some of that. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's there basically. So I've just got to um, get the spin up as I've said and go forward from there. But look at that the lovely color that it will be because obviously this is all not been touched before. So once it's painted and in it back to its original color, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna look nice. It is gonna look nice. It's gonna take me time, but I will keep you guys updated as I go along. And that, and um, yeah. So, but <clears throat> I will take some pictures from the underneath, guys. And I, when I put the video up, I will put the pictures after the video, and you can see what it's roughly like underneath. There is quite a bit of work to be done under there. But it, it will be done and it can be done. Um, yeah. So that's it, guys. Uh, sorry it took so long to come back to for one on the infa. But yeah, she's there. She's actually completely gutted now. So I've got to turn around onto her side and then start the second progress. The second section of doing the preparation for the bodywork so yeah thanks for looking hopefully you like if you do please thumbs up if it's the first time that you've seen a video for me if you like what you see please subscribe i'm always open to any questions and that and uh, i'll always come back to you i'll always answer if you send me a question or ask me something i'll always reply so thumbs up guys keep safe and hopefully we get some shows this year. Take care. Bye-bye.